Hi, welcome back to Paint It Simply. What I want to show you uh, today, or first thing here this morning, we'll get working on this, is I'm going to show you some uh, pellet knife clouds, some very quick pellet knife clouds. In a lot of the landscapes we do in Paint It Simply, I love to use the pellet knife. And so I just want to just have a quick little video where you can practice that. And then we'll show you all different kinds of cloud uh, painting techniques because we use a, a large variety of them. First, I have a board here. This is just a regular canvas board here and uh, it's a little bit rough but and it's been pre uh, base coated here with some medium white but that's not important we're going to put a sky on I always believe that you paint into the sky so let's talk about and paint it simply let's talk about the this what the sky actually is we have a base blue in our in our painted simply which is our thalo blue here let me step back just a bit and it, the thalo blue the thalo blue is a blue green and if I want to make it more of a, say, a blue-violet, a nice ultramarine blue type sky, I'm going to add a little bit of my red-violet to this. Then I'm going to lighten this up with some white. Okay, so I'll, I'll look at the blue that I have here. Now, I notice a lot of landscape painters, a lot of landscape painters, the tendency when you start your skies is to start your skies too dark, too blue, too dark, okay? And then that makes huge contrast with your clouds that then can overtake the entire painting. So how the type of blue that you use is gonna be depending on your painting, but always just keep in that in the back of your mind that a lot of people start out too dark, okay? So I'm gonna take it, so when I put this on here like that, see the difference in it in, as it travel from here to here? It, and this looks quite a bit darker here and so this is what I'm saying is that it it can it can get over dark on you real quick so I'm gonna but I'm gonna put a light coating on here something for me to work into here just a little bit here onto the canvas so we can see the working of the cloud here okay here like this okay and I'll show you how we'll, how we'll do that. We're going to have lots of techniques for doing the clouds, but let's just say that we're going to do uh, this part of the cloud here, or uh, this area of a cloud here. And so I have a light coating of that blue on there. Sometimes I'll wipe that down just a bit to remove some of that excess there. I'm a firm believer in, though, in painting into wet color. That's when it gets the easiest. Now I'm going to want to take a little bit of that blue, and I love to do this, is that if it all looks exactly the same, I'm going to model up the sky here and the blue because this is what happens, you know, not like a on, on a you know if you're out in the desert or something like that. No, they, those skies are just you know sometimes, especially on the spring days, are just so intense. But here I'm just going to model it up and get some variation to the blues. That's where you're going to get a lot of beauty in your painting, um, you know. And different artists did that uh, different, different, you know, if you look at landscape painters like Bierstadt, he didn't do that. But if you look at, you know, other painters, uh, which I uh, really, really love, and in seascape painters, and especially here in Paint It Simply, we do that to break up the blue. We shouldn't have an, any area of solid color. We always look for modeling and color and streaking of color through. But we don't want to go through and go like this anytime you're in the sky. That puts too much of a straight line. We like to do what we call model and move the color around like this, okay? Now the knife that I really like to use and we're gonna be in, in to uh, paint it simply is this. This is a Liquitex number five knife. There's all different kinds of versions of them. Um, but I like to use this knife uh, just because it's got a large flat blade. Now this is a painting knife and the painting knife is has this Z bend in it here, so that keeps your hand off the surface as you use it flat. I'm going to grab some white right down here. We'll drop some of my white in here. Now, sometimes when uh, I start a cloud, I don't start it out perfect white. I'll take maybe a little bit of my um, medium white here, right into a little bit of my blue here, and I'll start off a real soft gray color. Sometimes I'll start white and work into it. But I'm, and it all depends. There's different ways of doing it. Now I'm going to tap this color into the knife, load the knife this way. And when I start the cloud, and when I start the cloud like this, you first get it on, you'll get a little bit of a draggy mark here as it goes over the surface here. And so it's going to take a couple of layers here to kind of get some color on here. And then I really like to work the knife 
flat as I set the cloud. So sometimes I'll even put my finger on it like this and set the knife here and work this around. See a slow little motion of the knife here like this. Little motions of the knife and it'll start to set up this little wispy look to the cloud here. And we can set up more paint here and you can work that through. See how I hold that knife very flat. You can work that through, okay? If you want a cloud to be moving through the sky, you can pull down like this, and that gives a little bit of the, the movement through it. Also, this does it lovely. This is where I use the combination of my finger and my and the knife there like that to give that type of movement to the cloud here. Let's build a little more white and Let's build up a cloud here a bit more. Let's build this one up a bit. You can, you know, make another little set of clouds right out over here like this and add some movement. You can add the movement with your um, brush too if you don't like using your hand. But I love to use my hand. I always love to, to feel the canvas, the surface of the canvas as well. So I have this. And I have this missing. This is what you want is this, this misty movement. And I really love it when I work this in and I work these in kind of flat. I get this real almost foggy type of look to the cloud. I love those types of clouds. Now, there's other ways to build the cloud. You can, if you want to continue the cloud, if you want to do a real casual knife clouds, those are beautiful. What we do is we just come in and we can start uh, building here and tapping more and more and more texture. After you set your main cloud in like that, like uh, you'll have those in there like that, then you can pick up more and more and more texture and start to set the textures of the clouds in here. And if you want to have smooth edges out here like you're really billowing and building, that's where you use the edge of the knife here with a lot of paint and start to build like billowing edges and puffy edges to a cloud or something like that. I don't always necessarily like those. I like a little bit of soft edge and movement to a cloud here. So I tend to pull down like this just a bit into those. Um, but you can, you know, you can come back in with texture. You know, a lot of the, the knife painters will, uh, if you're doing a lot of knife painting, We'll just start to strike the clouds like this and just move a bit. You get these little tiny sparkles to it, which are just lovely. And But you can control those and soften some of those out every once in a while. So you build your clouds like this, okay? And you're building for layers of interest to it. So the knife is fantastic for putting on this type of look through the painting. And you can take your big brush that you had your blue with and you can pull down in and through these like this or use your finger. You can soften them. There's a lot of people that like to mop, uh, you know, that like to use a big mop. I don't like a mop. I don't call it mopping to blend. I never in any of the paints simply mop to blend because when you mop to blend, you destroy the interest. We will mop to blur, but we won't mop to blend. Okay, so we'll take a brush that's like this. It's not a mop. It's just to go over this to blur. So you can go over any of this like this to set those clouds in like that and blur, blur their edges and create movement. Or you can come back in and, and you, can, you can negative paint up in through here too. Let's say that I wanted to, uh, it, you know, because negative painting is a technique of painted simply. And I do this in one of, in the um, landscape book in, that we did with painted simply, is I came in with a darker blue and I painted in contrast blue in and around and between some of my knifed clouds that I had like that to really get some, some uh, different variations to... Uh, to the clouds and you can add a little bit more of like that in there like that and, and so you can uh, see that just gets you so much pretty variations to it and the, the blues that come through the clouds like that you know running through 
a little bit of that in there like that just gives you pretty little clouds here and a pretty little clouds pretty and and very easy and just coming back in with some of your blues but don't always use the same blue and that's one reason why uh, you know we have this thedo blue and we use that thedo blue with that red violet and I brush mix that so those blues are always going to change and in the sky that looks fantastic now in a cloud this is just a quick little way to do a palette knife cloud but a cloud will also if you look at that will have you can have clouds that have the shadow side to it have, um, that will have a light side to it a warm side to it that we will take a look at when we actually do a painting it all depends upon where the sun is where and whether the shadow is going to be at the top or at the bottom we'll talk about that in uh, in actual painting clouds i just want a quick little video for you to practice setting on a little cloud motion here with your palette knife because it's a wonderful little ways and we'll go look at uh, doing the cloud with the bristle brush as well